she said to me, hey, Victoria, why are all the images coming back as miserable and angry? It always generates white, middle class, angry looking boys throwing things and breaking things. Autistic people aren't constantly angry when they're playing. And so it's got this this idea of what an autistic person is or what a play is. If you type in generate me an image of, of, of autistic play or, or an autistic person playing and things like that, you, you'll see kind of the, these assumptions. So if you imagine that in an automated system, is it going to assume from my pattern of speech, from my logical pers- um, progression of thought that I'm neurodiverse? If so, how is it then going to use that to inform future pathways? Is it going to assume I don't like pay or that I'm constantly angry and that it needs to speak to me in a particularly nice and kind of dumbed down way? So there's these decisions and assumptions that are happening within these tools that unless as teachers uh, and as students and parents and other stakeholders, we can see. And I don't think companies themselves, I know a few that are on top of it, like Odex, they're they're great with it. But uh, I don't think a lot of companies have really got to that phase yet where they're willing to open up 